हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू विधि का एक्सप्लेन सीरीज टॉपिक फॉर टूडे डिस्कशन इज नेशनल सुपर कंप्यूटिंग मिशन सो द कॉन्टेक्स वाई दिस टॉपिक वॉज इन न्यूज सो बिकॉज अंडर द नेशनल सुपर कंप्यूटिंग मिशन दैट इज एन एस एम फोर न्यू सुपर कंप्यूटर्स हैव बिन इंस्टॉल्ड सिंस जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड दीज आर इंस्टॉल एट आई आई टी हैदराबाद नाबी मोहाली सी डी ए सी बैंगलोर एंड आई आई टी कानपुर so though this you do not have to remember but if you remember that's good but we need to discuss about national super computing mission so what is national super computing mission so first thing that it was announced in the year 2050 with an aim to connect national academic and research and development institution research and development is one of the most important should be one of the most important area of government however in india the expenditure the gdp expenditure on r&d is very low r&d is very low and we need to step up in this field because r&d is the future and technology is the future and for that we need to we need to go into more research and development so because of this national supercomputing mission was also proposed to uh, improve r&d in the country so with an aim to connect national academic r&d institution with a grid of more than 70 high performance computing facilities at an estimated cost of 4500 crores over the period of 7 years by 2022 so it was launched in uh, 2015 and aim was to connect to connect uh, national academy and research institution by more than 70 high power computing facility what is another important point it is being implemented and steered jointly by department of science and technology and department of electronic and information technology so this you have to remember these two organ dst and dei ty that is department of science and technology and department of department of electronics and information technology so that is important implemented by center for development of advanced computing pune and the indian institute of science bangalore so it is implemented by cdac center for development of advanced computing that is in pune and in institute of sciences bangalore so this is this is the factual information that you need to remember what is the focus what is the mission that is focus of the mission the mission envisages empowering the national academic and r&d institution spread over the country by installing a vast super computing uh, grid comprising of more than high performance 70 high performance computing facility so it is to focus on national academia and research and development institution only when these two have better or faster computing facility faster computing facility then only we will be able to develop more technology we will be work in the area of more better in information we will be able to work better in the field of technology so that is why this super fast or you can say fast computing capabilities must have been must be there in the country so because of this and because of to provide this super computing facilities uh, the mission was launched these super computer will also be networked on the national super computing grid over the national knowledge network the national knowledge network is another program of the government which connects academic institution and r&d labs over a high speed so what you have to remember is the national network knowledge what does it do what does it do so it connects it connects academic institution and research and development labs with a high speed network with a high speed network so we are currently with we are going in through industrial revolution 4.0 that is also led by technology and technology like every other thing required research and development research and development require faster computing capability faster computing capability and this will be done through this will be provided by national super computing mission now the first super computer assembled indigenously called param shivai was installed so first super computer assembled assembled indigenously indigenously that is uh, domestically was called param shivai so this is you have to remember that first super computer assembled indigenously was param shivai and it was installed in iit bhu that iit banaras hindu university in varanasi similar systems were similar system param shakti param brahma were installed at iit kharagpur and iii ser pune so however we are lacking in super computing mission the space is very low the pace is low and very few very less percentage of very less percentage of 4500 crore has been spent 
so what we need to do is like we need to focus on national computer super computing mission in a more efficient way so that this money can be utilized and the academic institution and the research and development labs must be provided with saps more than 70 fast or you can a super computing super computing facilities so this is what is important so that is why this super computing mission become important so now but now we will discuss five important questions question number one national super computing mission was launched in which year your option are 2015 2016 2017 none of the above the correct option is 2015 question number two national super computing mission was implemented by which of the following your options are department of science and technology department of electronic information technology and both of the above none of the above option are both of the above by both of the above question number three the first supercomputer assembled indigenously known as your options are param shivaya rudra abuja none of the above the correct option is param shivaya the first supercomputer assembled indigenously was installed in which of the IITs? IIT BHU, Bombay, Kanpur, IIT Delhi. And the correct option is IIT BHU. And the last question is the focus of national supercomputing mission is installing a vast supercomputing grid comprising of more than more than high performance computing facility. Fill in the blank. Your option is 170, 150, uh, none of the above. Correct option is so the in the national supercomputing mission which was launched in 25 the target was providing with more than later it might be extended but the current target is this so that's all for this session we have discussed all the important information which can which is related to national supercomputing mission so you just have to remember when it was launched 2015 and then param about param shivai and what was the objective that is r d academic institution and because we need development in technology sector because now today's world is led by technology led by technology therefore super fast computing capacity capabilities are much more needed in today's today's era as compared to previous era so that's all for this session stay logical with vidikya your best pal in clad preps